Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to integrate a private GitHub repository with your Jenkins job. This is the most common use case of your day-to-day -day task. So there are two type of repositories, as I said earlier, public and private. For public, there's no authentication required, but for the private repository, you should have an authentication mechanism to integrate job with your Jenkins job, means your repo with your Jenkins job. So there are two ways how you can integrate. One is personal access token. Another one is SSH keys. So as part of this tutorial, I'll show you how you can integrate using personal access token. So how it works, the two step process. First, you generate a personal access token over GitHub and then you create a credentials at the Jenkins side using this personal access token. So let's go to the demo and see how we integrate that. So if you see, we have a private repository called geeks aem integration and we'll use this repository in our job to integrate. So let me create a job here and let's say geeks private and it will be a freestyle project for now see you can see some more or less options here based on the plugins you have installed so in source code management choose git and add your private repository url here so go here and choose this https repo url and as soon as you hit this see there is an error right what says fail to connect to repository right invalid username and password so we need to provide some mechanism how your jenkins should identify the github but username password has been outdated and we don't use the username and password now means whatever the password and username you create you used while creating your account so instead of that you have to use a personal access token so you have to create that personal access token in github side so let's go and see how you can create that go to this here top right and settings go to developer settings and here you will see personal access token these days you see two options one is this beta and another one is classic so we'll use this classic now because this is a stable version the way how you can create tokens are same but we'll use it because this is stable and earlier another one is in beta now so generate token generate here and say uh, pat jenkins and you can set your expiration choose as per your need so what i'll do i'll choose the repo all the option and repo these should be enough but you can choose based on your requirement whatever your need is so what i'll do i'll add a repo here read org and i need this as well so these are not needed but based on your requirement you can choose as per your scope whatever scope you need okay and let's create this generate this so keep this save somewhere because once you refresh this once this page is gone you won't be able to see this again so let me save this for now and you can create credential now you have to create credentials at jenkins side so what you can do you can create from here itself what you have to choose you have to choose username with password right and it should be global so your username is whatever the username of your git is so mine is geeks code base and the password whatever the token you created so this is my token and let me add a id here jenkins i keep the same and in description also let me add the same thing right save it and now once you create this credential you will see this credential in this drop down so as soon as i choose this See, as soon as I choose this, the error is gone. Now, my Jenkins is able to authenticate my GitHub, right, private repository. So, I'll do the same thing. Check the branch, what branch you need to build. Okay, I have master branch there. If you see here, I have the master branch. I have master branch. So, I'll build master branch. So, I'll keep the branch as it is. And in this one, uh, Trigger build, I'll not choose anything. Trigger, I'll trigger this manually and delete the workspace. This is not needed just to remove if anything is there already in workspace. In delete, in this build, because this is a Maven project, again, I choose top level Maven project and goal, I choose clean install. Right, and post build, nothing. Save it. 
say. So if I build it now, it should build my, it should clone my repository, private repository, and it should build it. So let's build this. And if you see this progress bar, let's open C and what's happening. Okay, it start building, but if you go to the starting, you see the using credential pet Jenkins, means whatever the ID we gave. So this is using our credential, whatever we created, and it's cloning this repository. And rest of the things are same. It execute the goal. It's executing goals and it will execute that goal. And it is successful. So in case of private repository, you can use public this personal access token to integrate this. The another way you can use SSH keys in next tutorial, we'll see that how you can do it using SSH keys. So if you have any question, please add your comment.